Hey guys, Mike here, and this is how to check to see if your Rolex Submariner is waterproof. Let's jump right in. For this experiment, I have a, a Pyrex cup full of two cups, which equal one pint of clear water. I also have my iPad too, with a stopwatch, and I'm going to leave the Rolex submerged in water for about two minutes. All right, begin. As you can see, there are no bubbles coming from the from the Rolex which is a pretty good sign that it is waterproof there are no bubbles the watch is completely submerged in water as you can see This is by no means a professional way to check for water resistancy, but it is a homemade way to check for water resistancy. If you do see any bubbles, I highly recommend you take your watch into a repair facility because it will need to be checked. We are 90 seconds in. The Rolex Submariner is com completely submerged in clear, fresh water. There are no bubbles. I'm going to turn the watch over. can see it's still running underwater. All right, we're past the two minute mark. I'm gonna let it go on to possibly five minutes. And as you can see, the Rolex is still running under the water. I think I'll let it go to five minutes. I see no bubbles. I, I do not see the watch filling up with water. I just thought I'd do an experiment on how to check for your water resistance or waterproofing of your Rolex at home as opposed to sending it into a service facility. This is by no means a professional uh, pressure testing, but it is a nice way to check to make sure your Rolex is waterproof. I am using cold water. You can see the watch running in the Pyrex glass filled to approximately two cups of cold water two cups equaling one pint and we're after the four minutes 
There are no bubbles. The watch is functioning just fine. We have four minutes and 32 seconds. Alright, we're going to stop at five minutes. There we go. Five minutes. There have been no bubbles for the last five minutes. So that concludes the testing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.